Hi everyone, have you ever wondered what you will do with all of these? So when you're learning and you are practicing, these are all ones that are tutorials that I've done, um, you end up with a surplus of um, paintings. Some, some you'll be happy to keep, it's always nice to keep a few anyway. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you how you can repurpose them and make them into greetings cards or Christmas cards. So what I've got here is just a standard blank greetings card. It's not a watercolour card, it's just a plain greetings card. And what I'm going to do is show you different methods on how to use your work to repurpose. So I've got a seascape here and I've got a ruler. It's a stiff ruler. If you can use any sort of hard edge, I'm going to show you how to tear down because this gives you a nice sort of deckled edge, um, a rough edge. The the thicker the ruler, uh, if you can get a metal one, even better. So what I'm going to do is deckle an edge. So I'm holding the ruler down and then I'm going to tear. And this is called, well I call it tearing down. And what we're going to do is something called float mounting. I don't necessarily want the sand in there, so I'm going to take that off. Then I'm going to take it a bit smaller. Let's see what sort of size I want it. Right there. And I'm just working my way around. You need to make sure it's at least a centimetre thick before you try and pull, otherwise you'll struggle to do this, but you hold it firmly down and you're going to create this deckled edge. This deckled edge. So you can use any picture. This is Pritt stick. Any picture you want to do this with and you can use it actually just as a cropped down picture stick it on so it's float mounted this is float mounting now so we're going to get it as even as possible towards the top and then we're going to leave it with a bigger area at the bottom I need a bit more glue here it just not stuck Okay, so I've got my first bit there. If I take something that looks a bit Christmassy and a pair of scissors, I can cut now into this and make a shape and it's going to capture a picture within a picture. So... like guess what I'm gonna do here it's a bit I haven't got any that says here's one I made earlier so if I make that into a Christmas tree I'm just gonna make it very slightly shorter and I'm gonna glue this on So I've got a little Christmas tree appearing here. Now I have got a selection of metallic pens. Anything metallic works quite well for Christmas. So if I choose, let's go gold, let's see how gold looks. I've got these, these metallic pens have got two ends, I've got a thin end and a, a thick end. So if I just pop on here, a stem for that Christmas tree. We could also have, in fact I might do a separate star for that. And obviously you can write a message down here as well, a Merry Christmas. Maybe I shall have, I want to make it look a little bit more Christmassy so I'll have a few stars I think. 
I'll do a couple of ideas here. Maybe pop a few little swirls on here. Something a little bit different. Green is quite a Christmassy colour, so I'll go with a little bit of green. But whatever you've got, you could actually use a little bit of glitter as well. That might work quite nicely. So sort of repurposing into a Christmas card, but this would equally work as any sort of greetings card as well. I'm going to pop a little star up here. And then I'm going to cut out one of these berries. So this was a hawthorn berry picture, which is on the YouTube videos, on the beginners. A bit of Pritt stick. And I'm going to stick that on at the very top. So I've got a very, very easy, simple Christmas card idea there. Could be better glued. So if I take this one off and then I'll show you another idea. Hopefully it's just going to peel off. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is cut strips. Just a little strip like that. Bear with me. And let's see what else I've got. I mean, this one's quite festive anyway, but we'll work with it. So we're going to tear down again. So you're getting that nice deckled edge. This is all about experimenting. See, that's a nice little pretty picture in, in, in itself, but we're going to start to vamp it up a little bit. So, I'm going to make it a semi-abstract landscape. So, take a bit there. Stick that on the front. I'm just chopping little bits up. And pop that bit on there.
So it's just about placing them where you want them to be. So what I'm thinking is hills and I'm making different shapes. And we use the same picture to do it. Or you can use contrasting pictures. So I'm overlapping some of these so that I'm getting a sort of snowy effect. I'm still thinking Christmas here. But it just shows you, you don't really need to throw them away and you can just play and get some really nice effects. If you have any sort of gold fabric, that would work quite nicely, or gold inks as well. So if I, I'm going to bring that one a little bit higher there and stick that in there. And then this one here. If you didn't have the gold pens, you could just use whatever pens you've got. It would still work. If I come on now and create a little green stem for each of those. Just going to re-glue that bit a little bit. Just really want to give you some ideas. I'm going to do some Christmas card designs as well, but this one just shows you how you can repurpose what you have to make little designs. So you could outline some. So if I bring that round a little bit, this is just a bit of blue. It's given a little bit of a pathway through there. You could actually write Merry Christmas on here as well. So if I put Merry Christmas. And then that would go onto the card like that. And there you go. You've got another pretty little Christmas card made with your repurposed watercolour paintings.